we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. I just wanted to let you know that a uh, reminder, if you had planned on turning in your pledge card and you haven't done so, you can stick that in the mail this week. That would be helpful to the church council as we're going to finalize the budget fairly soon for 2023. Also, don't forget, uh, we're excited. We're going to be back in person at our coat drive. And if you want to donate some cookies to that, uh, they can go into the church freezer. Just call me if you're at home and, and you want to stop by. I can put a drop-off box outside for you. And that way, if you're concerned about contacting other people, uh, you'll be able to do that in a safe way. So I hope you can support that ministry because it's a really important and special day as we find coats for our friends who are on the streets and also those who are really impoverished and you know how expensive new coats are. So help us out with that. Let's begin our worship with a call to worship. This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. As we gather for worship today, we ask God to write the law of love on our hearts, a love that sees everyone as a beloved child of God, a love that has no boundaries or walls to keep some people in while leaving others out, a love that was modeled by Jesus himself. Soften our hard and forgiving hearts today as we offer our song of praise. Expand our minds to receive the good news you have to offer us. The Lord is with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, you have loved us and claimed us as your own. You have been merciful to us in ways too numerous to count. Teach us to be like you. Help us to learn that mercy always triumphs over judgment. 
We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen.